Everyday Blender Challenge Day 21, let's create sword in Blender. So I start by adding a cube in edit mode, let's resize this in the X, Y and Z axis. Adding the loop cord, select the down edge and pull it down in the Z axis. Select these two edges at both sides and scale in the Y axis. Now select the faces at both sides and scale in the Y axis. Select the down edge and scale in the Y axis as well. Shift right click to place cursor right here and add in a cube. In edit mode, scale in the X and Y axis to resize and position this at the center. Now add two loop cuts, then position this very well. Then let's press I to insert a face and let's scale in the Y axis and extrude up in the Z axis. Add in a loop cut and select this and press Alt E to extrude along normals. Then add loop cuts right here, select these faces, then Press Alt E to extrude along the mouse, then move it inward a little bit. Then select this face at the top and extrude in the Z axis and scale in the Y axis. Now tab out of edit mode and press Ctrl 2 to add subdivision surface. Press Ctrl R to add in a loop cord at the center and add supporting edges to make this look well defined. Then select these two faces at the side. Press Alt E to extrude along the mouse and scale in the Z axis. Shade smooth and add in a gemstone. Scale by 0.2, rotate and position it at the center. Then select these two edges, press Ctrl B to bevel, then add in supporting edges by pressing Ctrl R. In object mode, press Ctrl 2 to add subsurface modifier and shade smooth. Add in a material, make the blade metallic and reduce the roughness. Set the hand to black and apply an emission color to the gemstone. Click to watch the next part.